<laughs> okay, well, the time has finally come to do this video, but just to prove that I'm a nice guy and I wasn't just clickbaiting you with the thumbnail, here are some sexy images of Fubuki for you to enjoy. But uh, you're also going to have to listen to what I'm saying, so I'm just going to throw myself up in the corner here. Okay, hi. Hey, guys, how you doing? Guys, up here in the corner. I, I have a feeling like a lot of you aren't looking at me right now. Okay, no... Whatever, you can listen to me with your ears and, and look at Fubuki with, with your eyes. Just imagine that my voice is coming out of her mouth, or maybe not, that's a little weird. Okay, listen, this was originally going to just be a, a fun, lighthearted video talking about tits, because I, I think I made a video a while back, or maybe it was a live stream or something, where I was talking about uh, how I was going to make a video all centered around her boobs, and I had every intention of doing that, but then I actually sat down and I discovered something. I, I realized something big. Something massive, something, my God, aren't those things incredible? You know the amazing thing? I really think, Moroda, every single chapter he draws Fubuki, he makes them, maybe not necessarily bigger, but just the way that her outfit, her dress, like the contours of it, like more and more he's getting away with every chapter. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I got distracted there. Um, Yeah, a theory involving her psychic powers and, you know, her relationship to Tatsumaki and everything. Oh, okay. So, uh, I I'm gonna take off the slideshow now. I'm sorry. We're still gonna have sexy images. Just, just bear with me. Oh, okay, okay. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. Did any of you get any of the stuff I just said? Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay. Anyway, here's the deal. Um, you know how Fubuki has less psychic power than Tatsumaki? The, the trade-off is, like, huge. Like, yeah, Fubuki doesn't have weak psychic power. She's able to whip up a giant tornado in the middle of a city street using all the dust and the rocks and the debris in the area, and it can, like, shred a monster. Um, but Tatsumaki is just, like, on a whole other level. Like, she's able to pick up, like, giant rocks to the points where they're, like, mountains and skyscrapers, uh, boring Boros' ship launched all those artillery shells at the ground, and with just minimal effort, Tatsumaki was able to just, like, snap her fingers and stop all of them before they hit the ground. Remember, these things are giant uh, pieces of metal artillery shells that weigh, like, tons, like, each, and there was, like, dozens of these things, and they didn't just drop out of the ship, they were launched out of a cannon, and Tatsumaki's just like, yeah, whatever, flip around and then shoot them right back to the ship, so, um, Fubuki's psychic powers are nothing to scoff at, but they're not even close to Tatsumaki, but then you start wondering why, why, they're, they're both sisters, they both are coming from the same genetic, you know, soup, or whatever you want to call it, and Tatsumaki is the older sister, yeah, she's 28, and Fubuki is only 23, my god, Fubuki is only 23 years old, I am two years older than Fubuki, that, that just feels weird, but, uh, yeah, okay, anyway, um, you know, just because she's the younger sister, you might think that's the reason why she has less psychic power or something, I mean, because Tatsumaki has, uh, you know, she, she's older, so she's trained more or whatever, but we find out through the story that, Tatsumaki doesn't really train all that much. It's not like she got her powers through, like, hard work and stress and everything like that. It's just kind of like she's naturally gifted with these abilities. So I'm thinking, okay, well, why wouldn't Fubuki just be naturally gifted with these abilities? And, I mean, it's not just because she's the older one. She's, therefore, the more powerful one. We've seen this example all throughout anime. Sometimes the younger sibling is actually stronger than the older one. And, and then I came up with the, the idea. I, I looked at the differences between these sisters. I'm like, okay, what is, what is the the difference between them and I'm not just talking about simple things like one is shorter than the other or Tatsumaki has green hair and Fubuki has has black hair I'm talking about the very important aspects of their character in the sense that Tatsumaki is flat chested and Fubuki has giant jiggly puffs okay that's the main difference between the characters obviously okay so then I came to a realization something that that really spoke to me on a level that I don't think I'd ever, like, I had a, an epiphany, that's what it's called, an epiphany. It's like, Matt, look to the boobs. The boobs are the answer to all of life's major issues. Now, I want you to seriously sit back and think for a moment about that. All of the major wars that have been fought throughout history, could they not have been quelled with some boobage? Damn straight they could have been. But anyway, that's the answer, okay? So... You also have to think about how psychic power works, and how some of it is, is subconscious. It's not the power of your physical body, it's the power of your mind. And your mind is a very complicated thing. We're still trying to figure this thing out that's rattling between our freaking ears, okay? 
Uh, you know, we still don't really understand how memories work to their fullest extent. We still don't understand how thoughts and, and things work. You know, the synapses firing off and the cortexes and all that shit. We're still trying to figure this out. And, and something that happens to a lot of people throughout your life is you're going to have things subconsciously repressed. You know, so your mind's doing stuff that you don't even know it's doing. Okay? So, that's where I came out with the theory that, follow me on this here, Fabuki's boobs are just so massive and so perky and ridiculous ridiculous amount that it could not have occurred even in the in the realms of fiction this could not have occurred naturally i mean look at these things uh-huh okay so that stands to reason that fubuki has a tremendous amount of psychic power it might even be greater than tatsumaki's it's just that she is subconsciously using at least, I would say, 98, maybe even 99% of all of her psychic powers to holster those sweater puppies. That's what she's doing. Because think about it. It's just, look at them. I don't even need to explain. Just look at them. Okay? You tell me those things could have possibly be held in place by just a bra. And I know what you might be saying. Oh, yeah, well, she does wear a bra. Remember when she fought against a uh, uh, .s? And, and, you know, she was whipping her in the back. You could clearly see her bra, which I question what's that made out of because of, you know, if the whip is slashing it, it's destroyed the dress. Why didn't it destroy the bra? Well, I'll tell you. That bra may be just an ordinary bra, but it is amplified with, like I said, at least 98 or 90. The, the bra is just the catalyst, okay? That's all it is. It is a catalyst to support them, but if it wasn't for her psychic power that bra would just be obliterated. It wouldn't even snap. It would literally just be shredded at a molecular level, okay? It just would not be able to hold together, all right, without her psychic powers to keep them there. And, and the thing is, that the crazy thing is, Fubuki probably doesn't even realize this. She doesn't even she doesn't notice this. But um, yeah, her body, when it was developing to that point, it's just her mind immediately is like, oh, we need to, we need to okay, do something about this. Like, uh-huh, okay, all right, we're good. And, and, uh, and maybe she, she's aware of it a little bit on, like, a subconscious level because, you know, every night when she just, you know, takes off her clothes and... Sorry. Every night when she takes off her clothes and she looks at herself in the mirror like she's about to take a shower or something, she might question the fact of why her boobs are just so magnificent. And she's like, oh, man, whatever. But um, she doesn't realize it. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you the, what. The day that she comes to realize her hidden power and she releases that restriction on her, and she can use her psychic power to its fullest extent. I think that's the day. She could maybe even contend with Tats not just Tatsumaki, but maybe Saitama someday. Yeah, yeah. Or Blast, at least. You know, bare minimum. I, I know it's kind of rough to take on Saitama, but, you know, Blast, Tatsumaki, King, even. You know, Orochi, Garo, Boros, doesn't matter. Fubuki, you have a hidden skill within you. You gotta just, you gotta figure out a way to release it. Just unleash it all. Just rip it all off and have the power bared. Okay. Well, that's my theory. I, I want to let you, I, I want to ask, you know, you guys to leave your comments below on, on how, what you think about this. Um, because uh, it, it really makes a lot of sense once, once you come to terms. I think, I think even Moroda, he's dropping hints, you know, with all the different ways he's drawn Fubuki and all the different angles and everything. He, he's making a point to focus on her boobs. And why would a mangaka of a popular shonen manga focus on a female character's boobs if it didn't have something to do with her innate hidden power? There's no other reason for it. Absolutely none. Fan service? We don't need fan service. We already get that with Pig God. Pig God gives us all the fan service we need. Maybe King. Yeah, we get some King service too. But mostly, yeah, it's it's mostly uh, with that. So, um, right. Let me know what you think below. This will be Teching 101. Uh, I know it's kind of a short video, but uh, I said I was going to do this a while back, so I just wanted to wanted to get to it. Um, yeah. So uh, let's let's close it out with some more sexy images of Fubuki. It'll. It'll help you sleep better at night. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's, yeah, okay, wow, yeah, jeez. <sighs> okay, so obviously this was a comedy video, <laughs> if you didn't get it. Um, yeah, so I, I am a man of my word. I said I was going to do this, and I did it. I feel kind of dirty now, but that's okay. That's okay. Boobs will make it okay. All right. <laughs> You guys have a good one. En enjoy your fap sesh later.